difficult titration problem. You know, information about one and not the other. And this is just your basic type where we use stoichiometry, which is what we'll do in this class. What you'd want to do, sometimes these would be given in words, not a formula, but you'd want to write it out and then write the products. So the products would be, whenever it's an acid and a base, how do we know these are acids and bases? Yeah, there's an H in front, so that's an acid. OH in back, that's a base. This is a strong acid, that's a strong base. How did I know they were strong? On the table. They're on that table I taught you, yeah. So that's, that's it. You get a salt plus, or water plus a salt. Okay, uh, this is a neutralization, which is a type of double replacement. And then uh, let's balance it. Two here. Do I need a two in front of water? Does that do it? I think that, that does it. Okay, so you all start with what you know. So I know information here. 10 milliliters. And I want to go to moles. Okay, so this will start to get rid of volume, but I notice that my units don't match up. So I'll go have a liter for 1,000 milliliters. So all the volumes, milliliters will cancel, liters cancel. I'm just left with moles of the sulfuric acid. But I really want to know information about KOH, volume in this case. So I'll uh, do a molar ratio. There's two moles KOH for every one mole of the H2SO4. So now the moles cancel, I have moles of KOH. In this case, I want to go to volume. I want to remember that molarity is 0 0.50 moles per liter. So in this case, I have moles of KOH in the calculation. If I invert my molarity, the moles will cancel and I just have volume left. So I'm going to invert this which I can use as a conversion unit, and go 0 0.50 moles and cause the moles now to cancel, and all that's left is the liters. And whatever that calculates out to be, that'll be the volume. And if I wanted to, I could take one more step and go to milliliters. Any questions on this? Jose? This is a type where you ask for volume. Another common thing is not to give you molarity when we ask you for molarity. The third common is to ask you for mass. If we wanted mass here, instead of doing this step, I'd multiply by the molar mass to get grams. So that's, a, that's how I find mass.